Nanny Faye has started to hustle for cash as her son Todd Chrisley prepares to head to jail. As fans know, Nanny Faye's son has just a few weeks of freedom left before he'll spend the next 12 years behind bars. Likewise, her daughter-in-law Julie is also headed to jail for her nine-year sentence. Between Chloe and Grayson being under 18 and Nanny Faye's health failing her, fans assumed the judge would grant staggering sentences to Todd and Julie. The judge, however, chucked the book at the reality TV couple because they've continued to refuse to admit any guilt for their accused crimes. Sadly, most fans fear that between Nanny Faye's age and her recent cancer diagnosis, she will likely pass away while her son Todd is behind bars, so fans hope Todd is doing what he can to spend as much time as possible with his mother before he spends the next 12 years behind bars. With Todd Chrisley headed for the slammer, along with Julie, and their reality TV series cancelled, fans wonder what the rest of the family will do for money. Chase and Savannah have healthy social media followings they can tap into. Savannah has her cosmetic business and Chase has his candle business. Likewise, they both have real estate experience. For the time being, Savannah will become financially responsible for Grayson and Chloe. So the big question fans have is simple. What about Nanny Fade? During the sentencing hearing, Julie Chrysley implied that she provided Nanny Faye with daily assistance and care. Fans question who will step into that role when she heads to jail. For the most part, fans hope Emmy and Chase will step up considering how precious the bond Chase has with his grandmother is. Turns out, Mama Chrysley isn't letting her age or her cancer stop her from earning her own bag. The Chrysley Knows Best star recently reactivated her cameo profile. And she's using it to hustle for some cash— so she can support herself as her son Todd heads to prison. According to her profile, Nanny Faye is charging Chrisley Knows Best Fans $110 for a personal video. She's also charging $875 for a business video. The number of reviews on her profile confirms she's netted over $15,000 before cameo fees are taken out. This is assuming all 150-plus of her reviews were for personal videos and not business videos. While fans love that Nanny Faye has found a way to earn her own bag, fans are sad that Todd Crisley has put her in this position. Would you purchase a personalized video from Nanny Faye? Let us know down below. In the world of reality television, the Crisley family is no stranger to drama and unexpected turns of events. The popular reality series, Chrisley Knows Best, has seen its fair share of ups and downs, but the recent storyline is perhaps one of the most unexpected yet. As Todd Chrisley, the family's patriarch, faces the possibility of heading to jail, his indomitable mother, Nanny Faye, takes center stage with a surprising twist. She's decided to hustle for cash. The Chrisley family has been known for their humor, southern charm, and the amusing antics of Nanny Faye, who has always been a fan favorite. Her quirky personality and penchant for causing mayhem have provided comic relief for the show's viewers, and she's become an integral part of the family's dynamic. The twist in the family story began when legal troubles loomed large over Todd Crisley. Accusations of financial misconduct and tax evasion led to the possibility of Todd facing a jail sentence. The news rocked the family, as they navigated the tumultuous waters of legal battles and media scrutiny. While the situation was dire, Manny Faye, the family matriarch, demonstrated her resilience and resourcefulness. Known for her straightforward and no-nonsense attitude, she decided to take matters into her own hands. Recognizing that the family's financial situation was in jeopardy, she embarked on an unexpected adventure to raise cash, using her unique skills and personality to her advantage. Nanny Faye's hustle for cash took various forms, showcasing her versatile talents. She began by opening a pop-up lemonade stand on the front lawn of the family's luxurious estate. Decked out in a retro 1950s-style uniform, she served up her signature lemonade, complete with a secret ingredient that made it an instant hit with the locals. People flocked to the stand, not only for the refreshment but also to get a glimpse of the beloved reality TV star. But Nanny Faye's hustle didn't stop at Lemonade. She organized garage sales, flea markets, and even started offering her own line of merchandise featuring her most memorable catchphrases and anecdotes. Her relentless spirit and determination to support her family, despite her advancing age, became a source of inspiration and admiration for fans of the show. 
The narrative took an even more unexpected turn when Manny Faye decided to try her hand at stand-up comedy.